Hey guys, it's Di from Be Mommy with Style, and today I'm doing another YouTube Mommy Meetup prompt. And today I'm very excited about the topic because it is Wedding Wednesday, and I've never actually talked about my wedding on YouTube, so this will be the first like wedding video that I do. And also, my husband and my wedding anniversary is in August, so it's very, very timely for us. Our anniversary is on the 20th, and so we are getting ready to celebrate nine blissful years of being married. So um, I thought that this was really a timely video. So I'll answer the questions real quickly, but I actually have a wedding scrapbook and like a wedding keepsake box here in front of me as well. So I'm gonna take you through those and kind of show you a couple of things in those as well. So are you married? Yes, I'm married and we've been married for nine years. I just answered both of those. And I'll show you a wedding picture in just a minute. And the next question is what was great about your wedding and what would you have done differently? So first of all, what was great about my wedding? What I absolutely never would ever, ever change was the location. I instantly fell in love with this location. I knew it was where I wanted to get married and it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. It was everything that I wanted. I thought it worked perfectly for my husband and myself and it just was us. It was so us. And where we got married was Opryland Hotel in Nashville, Tennessee. We got married in the Delta Gardens right in front of a waterfall. It was gorgeous. I would not change that at all. 100% would not change that. Um, the location was a bit awkward because every single person that went to the wedding, including myself and my husband, had to drive to the wedding or, you know, get there somehow. I think everyone ended up driving. A couple people flew maybe. But anyways, regardless, everyone had to travel to get to the wedding. And so that was the only really awkward part about it, but I would hands down not change the location. It was perfect. It was perfect. And um, so I'm hoping to actually go back and celebrate our 10 year anniversary there next year. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous hotel. If you ever have a chance to stay in a Gaylord hotel, they are gorgeous. And the Opryland one, which I believe is the original one, is no exception. So hands down, the one thing I would not change and was great about my wedding was the location. And I'll definitely show lots of pictures. What would I have done differently? I really wanted to just get the wedding done and I was owning my own business at that point. I was running my own business and I didn't want the wedding to start consuming my life and I 100% agree with that now. I, don't, I didn't want a wedding to consume my life for years. That was really something I wanted to avoid and I knew my personality that the longer that it went on the planning process, the bigger the wedding was gonna get, the more expensive it was gonna get and it was just, you know, it had the potential, like any wedding, to get out of control. So um, we didn't plan very long. That was a nice part about the Opryland Hotel was that you got a built-in wedding planner. It was really, honestly, everything was done for me. So that part was in the nice category. What I would probably do differently is I would have invited more people. I really kept the guest list small. I really only invited immediate family and that sort of thing because I did feel bad because everyone had to travel there. And in hindsight, I think that there was some people that should have been invited, that could have been invited, that uh, weren't invited because I felt bad because I didn't want them to ask to travel. But now in hindsight, just being older and more mature, I realized that, you know, regardless of the money or, you know, having to travel or whatever, they actually would have been probably quite happy to travel. You know, and at that age, I was in my early 20s, I was just like, oh, I feel really bad that I'm making everyone travel, but I don't care because I'm not changing my location. So a lot of extended family, like my cousins, that it was, not like super close to growing up, but you know, really had a connection to. I um, I just included like aunts and uncles and things like that in the guest list and not all the extended branches underneath them. And I really feel like I probably should have invited more people um, because I just constrained the guest list too much. So it's kind of funny because everyone always, you know, like bridezillas and weddings that get out of hand. I almost went too much the other way, like constrained things and constrained costs, just because I was just so afraid of it getting out of hand. But regardless, it was a beautiful wedding, and hopefully I didn't hurt anyone's feelings by not inviting them. <laughs> but, um, you know, our, our parents were there, so what are you going to do? Um, but it was a beautiful, beautiful wedding and perfect, perfect location, absolutely. And then the last question is, if you're not married, do you want to be? And what are your thoughts on marriage in general? Obviously, I'm married, so I'm okay with getting married. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't really know how much I want to get into my thoughts on marriage. But my own personal opinion, just for myself, and keep in mind my own opinions for myself, I don't think that they have to be the same for everyone. But just for my own personal self, 
I knew I wanted to be married before I had children. That was the something that was the order of operations for me. And like I said, by no means do I think that if that's not the way you want to do it, then that's fine. Um, just for me personally, I knew I wanted to be married and then later on have children. And then also another thing as far as being married is I feel like the family unit should all have the same last name. And so I obviously carry the same last name as my husband. I carry the same last name as my kids. Basically, regardless of whatever happens in life, hopefully nothing unfortunate ever happens, but regardless of what happens in life, I would always want to have the same last name as my kids, and that's just something I kind of feel strongly about, um, probably because of my childhood, which is an entirely different video. But anyways, um, so those are just kind of my thoughts on it for me personally, and it's not going to be what's right for everyone. So anyhow, I like marriage. I think that huge weddings that are over the top and lavish are very gorgeous. But I did not want to have ours turn into that because I could see where you could easily spend tens of thousands of dollars on one day and it's just poof, gone. And, you know, I really tried to keep ours sensible, if that's a word you can use for ours. Okay, so I will show you a couple things from our wedding and right there is my engagement ring. And this, just a, I'll throw in some few fun stories here. This is my original engagement ring that my husband originally gave me. It's from Blue Nile. The, the band underneath it is not actually my original wedding ring that I got at the wedding. It is a ring that I got later on for an anniversary, actually after we moved over here to Illinois, kind of actually from my husband as a thank you for moving. <laughs> but anyways, um, it, the, the bottom band is from Tiffany and I really love it because it is curved to fit my so ring. I really love how these go together. I originally just had a solid platinum band that didn't have the curve in it and just felt like it never kind of looked right with my ring. So I feel like these two really go together. I still have my platinum band that I got at the wedding and I still love it. I will never get rid of it. I keep it as a keepsake in my jewelry box, um, but that's my wedding set. This is a actually wedding scrapbook that my mom and my sister put together for me. So I'll just flip to a couple pages in here. Another funny story is the dress that I wore was actually not the original dress that I purchased for the wedding. I purchased this dress on eBay from a custom made seamstress about three weeks before the wedding and my sister made some last minute alterations for me. I have no regrets on that either. I absolutely loved it. It tied up the back. It had gorgeous, gorgeous beadwork on it. I still have it upstairs and um, it really was a lot better than the original dress that I got from a bridal store. I just had the hardest time looking at veils and gowns and I just, nothing was sticking out to me and I saw this in this custom listing on eBay of all places and um, yeah, so I ended up wearing a dress that I got at the last minute of my wedding. You'll notice that I'm not wearing a veil. I could never find a veil that I liked. I also colored my hair about two weeks before the wedding. Don't do this by the way because I hated my hair. It was so much darker than it was supposed to be. And up here there's a picture of my mom and my dad with me up here. And then let's see what else. So there's the ceremony. You guys can see like the waterfall in the background. I'll try to insert some pictures. There's hubby up there. And because we have a Disney crazy family, now we did not have a Disney themed wedding. There's us too. That's a cute picture of us. I should probably find a copy of that and frame it. That's a cute picture. Anyways, because we have a Disney crazy family, we had Disney stuff at our wedding. It was not a Disney themed wedding, but that's just what ended up happening. I like this picture of us too. These are all pictures um, that my mom and sister kind of like you know cropped and and put all with all this like wedding stuff on there i thought that this is really cute so then the i love i still love like water so my only two stipulations for the wedding was that i wanted to have a fountain underneath the cake which you can see here so i had a fountain underneath the cake that was really my only like bridezilla thing was i had to have a fountain underneath the cake and i wanted to be by a waterfall and both of those stipulations were met and the facility was just gorgeous. The food at the reception was amazing. We had a reception there at a restaurant in the Opryland Hotel, and it was just fantastic. The rooms were gorgeous. This was like an atrium uh, balcony, and they just had gorgeous like turn down service and just an amazing, amazing setup. I wish I would have been vlogging then. That would have been amazing. My shirt says um, Mrs. there. Um, but it was just a really great time. And yeah, I wouldn't change a thing. I loved, I loved our location of our wedding. It was just fantastic. All I would have done was maybe invite a couple more people. But other than that, that's our wedding. And then over here, I have a like keepsake box that I just honestly threw everything that I brought home with me in this box. And 
then I really just kind of tucked it away and I've never honestly I don't think looked through it so we'll just kind of look through here and see what's in there I have our ring boxes from my ring and my husband's ring oh just put on another funny story my husband also does not wear his original ring that he got for the wedding either because we found out about a year later after we got married that he was actually allergic to something in the ring so he now wears uh, like a ceramic ring that he's not allergic to but he still has his ring as well this was the bottle of champagne the first bottle of champagne that we had as a married couple and so i kept the cork to that and then this was a gift that my mother-in-law gave me the bracelet's not actually still in there because i wore it and then i think it broke like a couple years later and i still have the beads from it but i saved the box and this is from my mother-in-law she's probably watching so thank you she does gorgeous beaded work our wedding was in nashville and then our honeymoon was actually in chattanooga and this was back in the days before like phones that tell you where to go so i have maps to get around chattanooga and there are just like a bunch of different things this guy was a really great officiator if he is still around i have no clue um because our wedding was almost 10 years ago here is actually the card from the wedding department my wedding coordinator apparently was nancy i don't even remember the names but i saved a notepad apparently from the room and there is the music from the wedding um the musician company i think that was like the sample that they sent me or whatever and then let's see a tennessee map and this is a overview of the gaylord Opryland hotel and convention center and even has our room on there <laughs> oh i saved everything this is so neat you guys i haven't looked through here like in a I, like i don't even know the last time i looked here opry mill shopping center i'm not even sure if some of the stuff is still there but that of course the shopping center i have like four things for it. are you surprised Streetwise Nashville. Now here's the backstory behind it. Nashville is a very special location for my husband and myself. Uh, he lived there for a little while and it was a special place for me growing up. We used to go to the Opryland Hotel growing up. And for a long time after we got married, I always envisioned us moving to Nashville. It has never happened. And I've kind of given up on that because our just our lives are not conducive to it. My husband works for a company that will never be based out of Nashville. Um, but for a long time, I really thought that we would move to Nashville, but we have not, and I don't think will at this point. Here is a Gaylord Opryland little overview. And just to give you some idea, if you guys have never been there, all these big areas are like garden conservatories, and then the rooms wrap around the outside. So there's the Cascades area, which is its own little atrium. There's the garden conservatory. There's Magnolia. And then the Delta is the real big one. And then we actually got married up here in this area, and our room... I can't remember which area our room was in actually our room was c6066 we were at the very top of the atrium um and it looked over one of these areas anyhow it was it's just a gorgeous location if you're ever in the states or if you ever buy one i definitely recommend staying at wedding one. invitations which i'm not going to show those because some of this is starting to have some personal information on here down here addresses and things like that there is a cat with a lime football and oh look at this there's little notes in here that my nieces drew me little pictures they drew me made this a keepsake of everything like at the time so good stuff and then there's just stuff from uh, Ruby Falls and stuff in Chattanooga down here and then down here in the very bottom I kept all of the cards that we got for the wedding and there's a little Mickey and Minnie pin. I wasn't kidding about my family being Disney obsessed. And the colors for my wedding were this like purple color and cream and lavender. So if you guys enjoyed seeing in my little wedding keepsake box and in my little scrapbook over here, and definitely, like I said, I would highly recommend the Gaylord Opryland Hotel as a wedding destination if you're trying to maybe find one. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, and they have just a fantastic wedding setup uh, where you can just get it all inclusive and just pay for it, and you have your wedding and reception and everything there, and you get a wedding coordinator, and they just take care of everything. It's amazing. So um, highly recommend that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed hearing about Wedding Wednesday and I'll have the warm fuzzies, which is appropriate because our wedding anniversary is getting ready to come up on the 20th. So that was Wedding Wednesday. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing all of that and hopefully we'll have inserted pictures and that sort of thing along the way. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.